Before we leave this area, let's just mention that this is the long head of the triceps brachii muscle. It has an origin on the scapula just below the shoulder joint and you can see it coming out here between the teres minor muscle and the teres major muscle. Again, I will remove the deltoid muscle so that we can better see the pectoralis major muscle. The pectoralis major muscle has two heads. First, the clavicular head, which you can see here in its entirety, has an origin on the medial half of the clavicle. The pectoralis uh, major sternal head, which you can see only the stump of here, has an origin on the, st on the sternum, the manubrium of the sternum, and the costal cartilages. Both heads insert on the lateral lip of the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus. The pectoralis major muscle flexes, adducts, and medially, medially rotates the arm at the shoulder joint. Now we have a view of the anterior surface of the scapula. In this view, you can see the stump of a muscle right over here. This represents the latissimus dorsi muscle. It has an insertion on the floor of the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus. The, this muscle adducts, medial, medially rotates, and extends the arm at the shoulder joint. This is another view of the teres major muscle. Again, it has an origin on the posterior surface of the inferior angle of the scapula. It inserts on the medial lip of the intertubercular sulcus on the anterior surface of the humerus, and you can see its insertion is near that of the latissimus dorsi. Its actions include medial rotation of the arm and extension of the arm. The subscapularis has an origin on the subscapular fossa, and it inserts on the lesser tubercle of the humerus. The subscapularis is another of the four muscles that form the rotator cuff. This muscle is a medial rotator of the cuff at the shoulder joint. 